That's like right, drive your car, and you just drive your car with your gas, put on the gas 100% all the time. Oh, I'm up to a corner, I need to slow down. But I start to press my brake a little bit while your foot's on the gas. All the ways of, of, of gas, right? Same thing with, with pumps and motors and fans. If you're running at 100%, that's just a waste if you don't need 100%. So the drive will slow down the pump and fan to run at the load that's actually needed. So when my building is at 8 o'clock in the morning, it's a little bit cool and we're not 100% occupied, I don't need as much cooling as I do at 2 o'clock in the afternoon when it's 95 degrees in the middle of July and we're 100% occupied. That's when everything's going to speed up. So one thing with drives, it's going to fail. Every product, anything we manufacture, is going to fail. My 2009 Pontiac G6 with 259,000 miles on it is going to fail at some point, probably in the very near future. So we know our drives are just like cars or anything else we deal with. They're going to fail. So you really got to compare ahead of time what's going to happen when this fails. So do I stop a spare part? Do I consider my HVAC system not to be that critical so I get a new part in a couple days? Is that acceptable or not? In this case, it has a bypass, so if the drive is ever failed, you can still run the motor across the line in bypass mode. So I don't have that variable speed control, I don't get that energy savings anymore, but I'm comfortable. My, my building's blowing cold air. So I can talk about, you know, if the bypass makes sense. Or do I want a redundant drive pack and drive a primary drive and a backup drive? If this drive failed, it'll switch over to that backup drive. So now my backup still has that variable speed there. But some HVAC systems aren't designed to be able to run at 100% speed. They don't have the controls for it anymore. They're all assuming to be something less than full speed. We bring in electrical engineers to talk about things like harmonics. You were all down in the lab already, right? So uh, one of the demos in there is our harmonic demonstration. We can show electrical waveforms. And I'm a double E electrical engineer. I'll geek out with you, fellow electrical engineers. We'll show all that thing. We'll talk about power quality. We can show how. The power quality of this is going to be different than this compared to this drive over here. So we just talk about, hey, what makes sense for that building? If I'm a research facility at a university and I got a lot of very sensitive tests going on, I don't want electrical noise in my building that might be best messing up my sensors. I want really good power quality. So we can talk about all those different things. So to the naked eye, you can be like, oh yeah, it's a product on the wall. But I can talk about backup, I can talk about power quality, I can talk about wiring practices, it all depends on who my audience is. So as you can tell, you know, I, I geek out over this stuff. It's, it's fun for me, it's what I like doing. 